One of the primary model views is the data grid, where much of the detailed modelling attributes are set and amended. The data grid is grouped into different tabs that focus on the various model types that Hero uses, from the project, which is the highest level object, down to individual floors, ceilings, walls, etc. Objects get added and removed from the data grid as they are created and destroyed. The data grid is similar to other primary views in that it can be shown or hidden using the docking buttons, keyboard shortcuts, or system dock. You can change the zoom scale on the data grid by using the settings menu, drop down, choosing zoom in or out, or hovering over the table header and scrolling with the mouse wheel while holding control. Column widths can be adjusted by dragging the column dividers. The column order can be changed to accommodate user preference by dragging and dropping. And column visibility can be toggled using the table's overflow button. Hero remembers and saves your column widths, orders, visibility and zoom levels so you can customise the look and feel of the data grid. To reset those settings to default, use the two reset options in the data grid settings menu, one of which will do a global data grid reset for all tabs, and the other which will just reset the current data grid tab. Select objects in the data grid by left clicking the object you would like to select. Multiple objects can be selected by holding control while clicking to select additional individual items or holding shift while clicking to select blocks of objects and vice versa for unselecting objects. Objects selected in the data grid will typically also select themselves in the visual view unless not represented there. Selected data grid objects can be zoomed upon in the visual view by using the zoom button in the data grid footer bar. Objects can be deleted from the data grid by pressing delete on your keyboard or by pressing the delete button in the data grid toolbar. Note, some objects such as floors and ceilings cannot be deleted and can only be merged. The data grid has various ways of organising its data that you can use, including the ability to organise objects in a tree view using the group by options shown in the data grid footer. These options include grouping by dwelling if you have more than one dwelling, by level if you have more than one level, by zone, or by parent object such as the parent wall of a window or the parent ceiling of a skylight. When group by options are used, the tiers of the tree view can be expanded and collapsed upon using the tree arrows on each row or via the collapse and expand buttons in the data grid footer. Objects in the data grid can be sorted by clicking the column header to cycle between sorting in ascending, descending or off sort orders. This can be very useful for grouping similar objects that you would like to edit. Note that if you have any group by options enabled, sorting will only occur within each group option. Editing objects in the data grid will depend on the cell you are trying to edit. For text field cells, you can move to the next row or previous row after committing your value by using the Enter or Shift Enter key. Or you can move to the next or previous column by using the Tab or Shift Tab keys to commit your value. 